during the audition, what's like your strategy? Probably mostly jazz. But like hard sense. hitting? Yes. Awesome. But also some palm movements. Palm movements. Yes. What's like a palm movement? Okay, I there like that. Hi, I'm Victoria. I'm 18 years old from Coppell, Texas. I'm a senior at Coppell High School. There's you and Dayton. Dayton. <laughs> I am Tina Kalina, former Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, rookie year 84, finished year 89. Here I see you when you were probably eight months old. I've known since I've been out of the womb that I've wanted to be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I've been dancing since I was two years old, and I couldn't imagine my life without it. And this was when I was five? This was when you were five years old. My mom is definitely my rock. Obviously, she knows exactly what I'm going through, the nerves, the excitement. I think the one thing that could be a challenge walking in as a legacy is people thinking I have an edge on them, but that's why I've been working so hard for my whole life, basically. Growing up in the competition dance world, I have had amazing opportunities. I got a $20,000 scholarship to AMDA, which is American Musical and Dramatic Academy for Dance. They wanted you to come live in New York City. I can't believe that. <laughs> since you were in eighth grade, but I just couldn't get rid of my little baby. Even with all these opportunities, I'm still 100% wanting to go for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Victoria, 332. Aw, she was a standout. She did stand out. She did. Mm -hmm. I've known Victoria her whole life, but I haven't seen her in our audition environment. All the judges were wowed by her. The competition is very high, and I can't wait to see who all makes it. really bring it, you know? Mm -hmm. I know you can. <laughs> Victoria? She was very soft. I'm like, you're showing up here for auditions, you need to kind of pull it together. It was sloppy, it was all over the place. Like, she wasn't controlled, it was wild. I have exactly the opposite. Really? <laughs> yes. I have fabulous dancer, lots of control, big, powerful, takes the whole floor. I think she and the girl next to her really kind of own that line. Yeah. I did the same thing. I put double checks on the dance, and I wouldn't want to be in her group. <laughs> we thank you all for participating in this audition process. If we call your name and number, you have been accepted into the final audition, which begins next Thursday with our panel interviews. If they call my name today for finals, I We'll be so ecstatic. This is just one step closer. We have five names left to call. Oh, God. If Miss Kelly and Miss Judy don't call my name today. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. I don't. I don't want that to be a possibility. Welcome to finals, Victoria. My number one goal my entire life was to become a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. My solo just kind of told the story of my journey to be here and perform. Thankfully, she's earning the respect of everybody in the room with this solo. I wouldn't want Victoria to have any advantage just because of her relationship with me through her mother. So good, I'm so proud of her. Oh, I'm gonna cry. So is she. Kelly's crying too. She kind of was one of the most passionate, emotional solos of the day. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, you made me cry. Her. Rookie candidate Victoria. She's just so messy to me. That just wild child to me. Just calm down a little bit. You're here. It's all right. That's why I like her. Really? Yeah. Just let her out of the out of the gate and she's gone. But does she have the steam to finish? Because in her kicks, it's like, at, towards the end, she was fading. I'll give her maybe. OK, <laughs> see? Victoria. I made it to training camp. I'm just so excited. All that hard work is 
paid off. But I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh boy. Did you brush your hair today? I just, I came with it all natural. She that a looks bit. like the scarecrow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. She has iconic Texas hair. Everything's bigger in Texas. I felt really good about my rehearsal today, but not being told anything or given any feedback was weird. Oh my God, I don't want to get emotional about this. Victoria? It's not my last night. I'm not going to think that way. The thing that concerns me is when we have 45 people in the room and we need nine people to maybe audition next year or the next year. When I circled the names that everybody agreed were outstanding, you weren't circled tonight. And that is not where you want to be. The ones that didn't scream out yet, I think, was Victoria. Nobody noted her. With this choreography, it's almost like you're overdoing it. OK. It's just like you're all over the place instead of being clean and powerful. Mm hmm Yes, ma'am. You did have some judges say they wanted you to tone up your tummy at auditions. Yes, I'm aware that's one of my weak spots. I feel like you're disappointed, and I don't want that. I'm not disappointed. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If we have 45 people and we have to pick 36, at this moment, you have the potential to be in the top 36, but you didn't deliver that tonight. There's a little articulate finesse, polish, smoothness, and I think I Which almost... veteran do you think I should work with to help me with that? Because <laughs> uh, great. I can do that. No doubt. And that's it. OK. Thank you, guys. Okay. I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. Good night. Good night. And the way she opened that door was like a bang. It's a beautiful storm. I'm so glad I'm not cut. That's just a relief. Oh my gosh. I have a dance room in my house, so I'll definitely be there for probably the next 24 hours before rehearsal tomorrow. I am making this steam. Thank you. I have been waiting to put on this uniform my entire life. I'm freaking out a little bit, and I'm just so excited. Okay. I think this is this Oh, wow, one. you tie it tight. Looks great. Oh, my goodness. I want to recreate the picture with your mom. Victoria went through the traditional rookie uniform fitting, and then I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to try to recreate a picture that her mother, Tina, and I took the day of our rookie uniform fitting. One, two, three. <laughs> That's cute. That's good. We are beginning week seven of training camp. We have 42 ladies, and we only have roster spots for 36. I've decided that some of our cuts may not even be dance-based, because we have a room full of great dancers. How are you? Good to see you. Today's media simulation day. Each of the rookie candidates will do a television interview with Brenda Teal, who's a judge at our auditions and also an anchor woman in Louisiana. Hi, how are you? I am going to put the ladies through some tough questioning today, and there will be some surprises intentionally, and I want to see how they handle them. I'm going to be taking notes and watching behind the scenes while Brenda does the on-camera interview. Victoria, your mom wore the uniform once upon a time. Yes, she did, and here I am trying to do the same. What does it mean to you? Oh, it's just so exciting, just, ah, I have no words, honestly. We need to get words and help you with your stories. So if you make the team, what do you think it will be for you? Oh, there are no words. I don't think there's one word that could describe how I would feel. Another. There are no words, Victoria. Find yes. your words. Find your stories. I wouldn't put a camera or a microphone near Victoria after today right now. Tonight, we are here to see who is field ready. So let's make a triangle. Every year, the girls get really excited to find out where they are in the triangle. Tonight, I'm setting all 42 in the triangle so they can see what it feels like to be in that position. And it takes a lot of thought into who is standing where. Now let's make sure we're even on the field. Look into the 50 and see if your lines are straight. 
It is so exciting knowing that I possibly could have a spot in the triangle, even if it's temporary. Having a spot in the triangle right now feels amazing. Okay, so let's count some of thunder. Six, seven, eight, and up. Out, three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight. Victoria, you were guilty of this one. You can't do your head so far over and you flip your hair back that it looks like a completely different move. That eight is just a up. Something happened prior to rehearsal between Janelle and Victoria. You're 11 pounds up since auditions. So I have Janelle in here because I want her to work with you. Janelle's volunteered her time to help Victoria with nutrition. And I'm not accusing anybody of dishonesty, but there is something that's not adding up. And I want to explore that. OK, move to the 10 and go five yards apart. Just based on media day, it pains me to think about who the logical cuts are. OK, good night of work tonight. Next time we see you guys is on Sunday for Football 101, which is a result of our media training that we discovered there's some needs for more education. We need to see two people in the office tonight, Taylor T and Victoria. If you two will stay and everybody else, we will see Thursday the next rehearsal. OK? All right, good night. I feel a little bit discouraged. This is my fourth time getting called into the office, but you never know what's going through their heads. Victoria, last time I got called in because of my weight, and I feel like I see progress. Maybe they don't, so I have no idea what this office visit is going to be like. I heard a little discussion about some appointments that Janelle had made for Victoria to see a nutritionist and doctor. And it sounds like there was some disconnect on Victoria's part. I want to find out what that's about. How you doing? I'm OK. You are? Fourth time being called in. Y'all just can't get enough of me. <laughs> I guess not. Um, <clears throat> two things. Media, everybody agreed. She's rough around the edges. She's not ready. She comes across immature. Um, have not seen progress in the fitness since we last talked. Our kind of collective concern is, are you utilizing the resources that we've gone out of our way to provide you? Yes, ma'am. So why are you not responding to Janelle's texts? I know that she sent me a doctor's request. I just know you've never really had a weight issue, so I'm kind of leading towards the women who have. It's totally 100% fair to say that, but at the same time, I just wanted to help you. And if you didn't want to take it, you should have let me know. I just not, I don't like the situation I'm in right now. So I was just kind of sensitive to it. I'm sorry. I feel like we're at a point where you really need to take a real mature approach to this as a job. Yes, ma'am. And I don't think you're ready. I think there could be a uniform for you, but I also don't want you to crumble. I almost feel like, to me, you look like you're under such pressure that you can't be yourself. I just don't like being in here. It's kind of scary. What's the worst thing that could happen? I go home. I'm prepared for that, and you need to be prepared for that, too. My concern is communication and honesty. Yes. I think it was just the topic. I really do. I think you need to develop who's Victoria and what's meaningful to you. OK. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm so sorry. It's OK. I want her to grow up. She said that they are prepared for me to go home and that uh, my immaturity is showing the further along that we go. I think I can work hard enough to make this team this year. You're good, though.
Today's cameo shoot day. This is our annual photo session where we take all the publicity photos for publications and social media. She looks like a cover girl, like full page. So these photos really could make a difference whether or not someone would or would not make this team. We're not even done yet, and I don't think I ever looked this good. Time to go take some pictures. Her legs are beautiful. She carries her weight in the midsection. It's very nerve-wracking knowing that they're talking about you, because, I mean, they get to zoom in on your face, they get to zoom in on your body. I'm not sure if today's helping or not with Victoria. In one sense, she is not at her trimmest state, but she's got probably the best hair and the best legs in the room. Hello. Hello. We are in week eight of training camp. We have 41 ladies in training camp, and we have to get to a final roster of 36. Tonight, I'm going to call the group leaders in. I want to get their opinion on each of the ladies that they've been working closely with in rehearsals. Victoria, on the field, looked beautiful. She was tall. She had presence. Lily, on the field, impressed me, to be honest, because in the studio, she seemed kind of sloppy, and she would rush her music. But. Victoria sometimes says stuff, and I'm like, did you think about it before you said it? Having them have seven more cuts. Uh, <laughs> what if I'm that seven that needs to be cut? Uh, what if I'm one of them? And so when I have to give my final nine, I would say for them. Okay. I don't envy Eel's job. <laughs> and it's hard. It's difficult. Now you kind of see what we're going through. Very valuable. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're at the end of week nine. We are one week away from our first football game, and we are back at AT&T Stadium. Tonight, I'm looking for stadium effectiveness, larger than life, power, projection, showmanship. I am feeling the pressure a lot just because seeing Dayton go home as a legacy. We don't think you're ready for the team this year. Seeing a veteran go home. It's a tough decision for us. It's heartbreaking. Anyone can get cut. Did you see what I saw? Is Victoria struggling with her kicks? Victoria's end pose is pretty, but I thought her kicks were heavy. Victoria, you were late on the leg lift, and it can't be because of the boots because we can't use that excuse. I wouldn't say I'm to the point of cracking just yet, but um, my heart's racing. Oh, I'm just trying to work as hard as I can. OK, let's see the kick line, just the kicks. Emotions are high and raw right now. There's a lot of pressure on a lot of people. It's when the players are out. There's TV cameras. This is on network television. These are straight lines. Hi. Everyone in this stadium can see that one girl's wrong. Cut it short. Don't cut it wide. You're swinging wide. You're swinging wide. You're swinging wide. I'm sorry. I don't want to be the one that is a sore thumb right now. Victoria, walk up your yard with the hair. Yeah. Tonight, if I look like a sore thumb, that could mean something bad. Got to keep pushing and got to get through this rehearsal. All right. Y'all feel a little closer to game day? This stadium's different than Ford, and we saw great things, and we saw some things we still need to fix. And we need to see a couple people in my office here at the stadium tonight. I need to see Jaylen and Victoria. If you two can stay and we'll see everybody else Monday. Okay? All right, good night. I think Kelly and Judy like my big and bold self, so I need to show that for sure and not be shy or sad or emotional in there. Victoria? If tonight is my last night, it's just, oh, I can't think about it. Hi. Hello. Tonight was tough, rough, fun. I thought it was very exciting being in the stadium, dancing. It's exciting. Um, first of all, we are very, very proud of your audition, your training camp, you as a dancer, you as a legacy. You've learned a lot in this training camp about 
this organization from the inside, and we've learned a lot about you. You know we're making roster cuts. We see you on this field. We see you on this team. We see you in a uniform. And we don't have enough uniforms to give you that chance this season. You've stood tall and courageous when most 18-year-olds couldn't. Thank you. You can do this. I want you to be really successful here. You could come back next year to audition and totally just own it. Yes, ma'am. Was there anything specific that stood out tonight? It's comprehensive. OK. It's OK. If this year I can't look my 100% best and y'all don't think I'm 100% A++ Victoria, then I will definitely use this next year to grow for however long it takes. We do see you on this field and we see you on this team. Yes, ma'am. Just not this girl. You're making me cry more. I'm going to cry, but I'm going to help you here. <laughs> <laughs> a friend. <laughs> I just want to hug my mom. I know. I can't. I'm mad. I don't want to tell her. <laughs> another year, especially next year. Just another year to prepare and get to my A++ self. Anybody that says she was a shoe in that's just bull. She's worked hard. She's worked real hard. Victoria, when you think of those people that you're like, oh, they were born to be a DCC, that is you. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Victoria will rebound. She's tough. She's strong. She has huge potential here, and I hope she comes back. Hi, everyone. My name is Victoria. Coming in as a legacy, so young, and I think I was overwhelmed last year. You really need to take a real mature approach to this as a job. Yes, ma'am. And I don't think you're ready. When I saw Victoria come out, she looked great. She's toned up. I like seeing people back. Oh! 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 <laughs> There's such a tiny space of dance, our biggest and boldest. I guess I just went a little too bold. Hopefully they didn't see that I slipped. Only Victoria. We left it all out there. We did. We, we, we all did. each other. Yes. <laughs> Good job. When I met you in. Going through the process already. I know what to expect walking into tomorrow, but the nerves will most likely be there, so I just still have to dance as big and bold as I can. I would say today is very crucial. It determines whether or not I'll move forward to being one step closer to achieving my dreams. Number 71, Victoria. She looks great. Yes. yes. Yeah. She worked hard. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I've caught this year is that the focus is different. Last year was a wake-up call, I feel I, like. I, I agree. Yeah. When you get smoked in life, there's something to be said for the comeback. People are really rallying on Victoria's side because she's really worked hard this year to be what we need to see on the dance floor. 
We started with 400 ladies, and today we are down to 80. That includes 28 returning veterans that are entering the process today. During the last auditions, you took a lot of heat on social media. Just curious to know how you handled that. I did get some direct messages that were not the loveliest, and it took a while for me to not have that self-doubt that I wasn't good enough, but I want to prove them all wrong. Those negative comments, I use them as fuel. I want to show everyone that this is my goal, and I am going to achieve it. All right, final cuts are coming, and it's between Charlotte, Kelly, and Judy. Who are you cutting and why? Oh, no. Miss Charlotte, I have not seen you dance before. <laughs> Tonight will be your last night. <laughs> and she cut me. <laughs> Please welcome from Coppell, Texas, Victoria. Last year getting cut, I don't really like to look back on the past. This is a new me, and I feel as though it's a better version of myself, and I'm here to present that to them. There were nights when the wind was so cold. Oh, God. Beautiful. Judy and I both love emotional performances that have great musicality, are very fluid and technical. Victoria came back really strong this year. She's dancing with great passion, great heart, great strength. Number 35, Victoria. Today we are here at the Star for uniform fittings. It would be such an honor to be able to represent this organization by wearing that uniform. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't ever want to take it off. That I've seen everybody in individual groups. I've definitely seen some people that have really stood out in my eyes, and I'm gonna pick out my favorites. Can Victoria come out? Travis pointed me out with, along with two other rookies. Amanda and Lisa come out. This is fuel to make this team in to get through training camp. Let's hear it for this group. I just know Kelly and Judy are gonna ask me about every single individual girl. So um, there were a couple girls I felt like were, had a hard time uh, picking up on the actual style and detail of the choreography. If they're returning, is their spot guaranteed? Yeah. Right. I can't take my eyes off you for sure, Victoria. I definitely think. I remember I loved you last year, and you have definitely just grown and grown and grown. So congrats on that. Uh, so what we would love is your opinion now that you've seen the girls with your combination and some of our palm routines? For me, Victoria was my favorite today, and she's a newbie. But she was my favorite last year, but to me, she was the best one in the room. <laughs> Good evening. Hi. We've given all 43 ladies new costumes. They are all the same, so they'll be on a totally equal playing field visually for tonight's rehearsal. Show me something now. Okay, so Charm, we have 43 ladies in training camp. Ultimately, we need a squad of 36. I'm going to give you 36 dots mm -hmm. that represents your vote if you had the Charm squad. Okay, okay, here we go. Watch this. Victoria is a yes. The new girls are just hungry and they want it. Yeah. So and they're dancing, the they're dancing. Tonight is our show group audition. Show group is a smaller squad within our full team that performs on our USO tours, television shows, travels the world. 
It's made up of 18 ladies. This year we have 11 returning veterans that want their spot back on show group. Everybody in training camp tries out. Rookie candidates can and usually do make show group, but just because a rookie candidate makes it doesn't necessarily mean they have made the permanent squad. We still have seven weeks of training camp left where there's a lot going on that could still have someone released from the team. I really like Victoria. So thank you all so much for helping tonight. Let's start with Victoria. She's improved so much from last year. Like, Hasn't she? Yeah, I feel like she's a little bit more confident and more sure of herself, and that stood out to me. We had fun last night. I hope y'all did too. I know it was a lot of work. Judy has the names of those that we're picking for show group tonight. Our first person on show group this year is Daphne. Victoria. Now I'm gonna break the ladies up into two groups just so I can see them dance more full out than what they would in a mass group. Group one. I want you to know that it's a time. You and me be the same light. I want you to know that I'm all yours. You and me with the same force. I want you to know. Good job, very good, I loved it. I loved every ounce of the performance. Wow, you're super fun. From the very beginning, like it just, there was energy. I loved watching that for sure. We have one more cut to get to 36. This final cut's gonna be hard, very hard. It's not obvious, it's not comfortable, it's not gonna be easy. That's my soul, that's the way it is. I thought Victoria looked amazing. Mm -hmm. I thought she was beautiful, I thought she was sexy, I thought she was fun and energetic. Okay, um, this is kind of difficult to explain. We've been saying all summer that we're gonna pick 36. And after the last rehearsal, that's changed. We wanna just kind of give you guys our decisions so that it won't be looming over us tonight. So we're not gonna have a squad of 36, but look around. Look all the way around. Come and check it. Guess what? I love you guys so much. I didn't even get to say congratulations. You've all made the team. It was uh, the first non-announcement announcement we've ever had. <laughs> came back one of the strongest people in all of training camp. This is the beginning of our new team.
the team event, and this is the first time the entire squad is performing together in uniform on the field. Tonight is a very great night. It's emotional. It's emotional seeing their parents watching their daughters for the first time. I'm extremely happy that we finally have our team. Good evening, and welcome to our families and our friends of our Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. We are 24 hours away from our first game. So please welcome the 2019 Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Put your arms around me, tell me everything's okay. Ooh, darling, hold my hand. Oh, won't you hold my hand? I'm strong enough for both of us, both of us. I'd rather be. Okay, before you go out there, when you look around your circle, you realize just how special and different everybody's journey has been to make this team. When you step on that turf, remind everybody why y'all are world renowned. Enjoy it. And yay, let's circle up and shine bright out there. process to getting cut to getting back in the training camp and finally putting on this uniform and having it be mine was totally all worth it. Oh